Nat, Nat 20. 20. Welcome back to Nat 20, where our last episode was basically just a shopping and episode where the guys could do anything they want in a branch house. So the last thing that happened was they boarded their ship to sail directly to Summer Sail. So we can kill a kid. <laughs> we should get one of those signs that says, like, yeah, That's this, my thing, this Jack. Many, I kill a kid. <laughs> this many days. Don't take that out of context, <laughs> anyone. Yeah, no. <laughs> Don't put me on a watch. actually <laughs> killing kids. Yeah, so you guys are now on this ship that is captained by a really short, excited, and super hyper gnome named Ali Allendale. My favorite character. Uh, is there anything specific that you want to do while on the ship? The ship ride will take probably around... It'll probably be a one or two day trip. Yeah, no, nothing specific. I'm just gonna hang back and try not to get sick or fall off and go. Okay. Because I'm very heavy and probably won't swim too well. I will just, uh, I will go to the highest point of the boat and, uh, just cast me a frost on the water here and there, see if I can freeze it. (laughs) (laughs) Why? Just because I can. Yeah, uh, so you go up there and you just cast it up, sometimes to the right, sometimes to the right, sometimes in front. specific order. And every once in a while when you do it in front, Ali Allendale sees that and just throws up at you. Hey! Don't do that up front here! We're sailing right into that! Thanks. <laughs> I'll just cast a fireball to cool it down. Remember <laughs> 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 the last time you threw a fireball? You <laughs> <laughs> set the card on fire. <laughs> Dude, if you keep shooting ice in front of us, this has become like the Titanic 2. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mostly doing it to practice. Yeah, so, uh, there's one, one time where you do that where, uh, it's really surprising because just the moment that you throw it, throw it, a dolphin jumps up in the air. <laughs> <laughs> it, it hits it like straight on and you just see it like freeze in the air for a second and then like sink. <laughs> uh, oh, that's, man. that's, uh... But then after a few seconds you see what do you think is the same one? You're not positive, but you think it's the same one and it jumps back up in the air. It's a dolphin's wife. Where did my army go? I think uh, that's enough of that. <laughs> did did anyone uh, see that? It's considered good luck uh, for dolphins and porpoises to swim alongside a boat, so you just fucked up, mate. <laughs> Can I run and see if I saw yeah, that? Sure. Alright, sweet. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna see. Why? See me too. Okay. So my guy's very superstitious. 13. 13? Uh. You did see it, yeah. Where's my okay. <laughs> I just looked across. <laughs> you saw the dolphin get hit, but you didn't see it jump back out after. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Jump in and save it. I got a 14. Yeah, uh, you're in the same boat as, as Tony. We're all in the same boat. Let him cut that. <laughs> <laughs> um, did you put the drums of comedic timing in this game and then just add in the sound of like that? I'm already two steps ahead of you. Nice. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I look across at, uh, that's Farron, right? I'm on top of the boat. Yeah, Farron. I, I look up at you and I'm like, with just like a, like, wide face, like, how could you do that? Yeah, like, how could you wide do that? Eyed. Yeah. <laughs> I'm wide, yeah. <laughs> don't mind me. So after seeing that, my character is going to have a really bad feeling about this whole quest. <laughs> my character has a further bad feeling about Farron as a character. <laughs> I just catch you doing the most like weirdest and like intense things. And my guy does not have a good feeling about you. You did see him like throwing uh, chill touch around a few times before that, but you like because he's been doing that for a while. And but he did. That was that he knows that he didn't hit the dolphin at one point. Um, I shot up to where you are and like, hey, uh, do you think maybe you should stop doing that? Uh, oh, oh what? <laughs> so you don't kill any more dolphins or I, damage the ship? I just saw that. I think it was the same one come up from the water. I, I, I think don't he's okay. You. <laughs> um, I gotta get back to my. Uh, my my nap, uh, <laughs> night night. <laughs> so wait, like, what, what part of the ship are you at? Yeah, I'm, I'm like on the, top, like the highest part. Yeah, like, yeah. so the crow's nest. Yeah, the crow's yeah. nest. Yeah, it's not really, it's not super high, but it is the highest part yeah. of the ship. Um, yeah, I just I just go 
back to whatever I'm doing, but yeah, my, my feelings about it fair enough gone even lower. Uh, is there anything else anyone is specifically doing right now? I'm going to go to the bow and I'll stretch my arms. Okay. <laughs> Start seeing the <laughs> I'm just going to kind of keep that on the short lines. So. Okay. So you travel for about, like, uh, I'd say about five hours, and so far the water has been fairly all right. Like, no huge waves or anything, no rain, no storms, no anything. Uh, you can't see a branches anymore. Where and you go? <laughs> <laughs> you went underwater. <laughs> she really was <laughs> not and, uh, you guys, uh, could you guys all roll perception checks? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Do I get advantage because I'm in the crow's nest? <laughs> but, uh, sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Eight. <laughs> I got a nat one. one. <laughs> uh, I'm be blind be... for a day. Uh, 19. <laughs> I accidentally stared into the sun and just... I got a five. 19. Seven. Seven. Okay, so, Baron, uh... You see up ahead that there is a ship just sitting in the water. It's kind of like a, it's more of a houseboat. It's just tri- sitting in the water and you don't see anyone on board. Or outside of it anyway. Oh, um, the uh, captain? The, yeah. Yes, yes, yes! There seem, there seems to be a boat, um, up there. Uh, it's so not moving. It, it kind of looks, cause it, it is kind of to the, to the southeast. Uh, and you guys are heading kind of southwest, so she kind of looks that direction. Like, oh, oh my god, that's, and she'll say, is it okay? If, are you guys cool if we go check it out, just in case there's well, trouble there? Well, uh, I had trouble, no, I, no, I'm not okay with that, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I don't see anyone, like, outside steering the ship, and it, it's kind of the middle of the day right now, so I thought there might be some trouble there. Probably we should go help. No, they're sleeping. Yeah. In the middle of the day, yes. and I can use my I do it. <laughs> and make my voice real loud and call out to them. That's the thing I can do. If everyone's okay with that, then no, I'm still not. No, I'm not okay with this. Still, quiet. What if there? I was going to there are enemies around, but like, we wouldn't be able to see yeah. across the vast to... sea. So let's so put it to a vote. I'm not okay with violence. <laughs> I think we should approach. Yeah. Let's do it. I'm awake and listening. I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, it seems like we have a majority, so I, I, I don't know, I'm sorry, <laughs> unfortunately. I think it's the best thing to Just check on okay. this ship. Um, I'll just, I'll be on the boat. You can stay and protect our ship. I will. I, yeah. I hope don't there's no danger, though. Fire. I won't. Don't oh freeze God. it. Uh, so, Ellie Allendale will <laughs> seal steer the ship towards this houseboat and kind of just try to anchor down as close as possible as you can to it. I'm just going to kind of hide down by the railing and keep um, looking at the boat. Are the, uh, so how how small is this ship compared? Like, how, what are the size differences between the ships? Uh, it's just a houseboat, so there would be, like, it's basically like a cabin on a boat. Okay. Um, am I able to do one of those cool... Swings where I grab one of the ropes from the like the sail or whatever and swing down like a like yes. epic pirate style. Like yeah, Edward. Yeah. Okay, I want to do that. There seems to be a rope dangling just just long enough to get this ship. Sweet. Um, should I like use my voluntary to make my voice real loud and call out to them first so they don't just invade on their <laughs> personal space or you know how to character voice talk to each yeah. other. <laughs> Be a team. <laughs> I thought you were gonna oh, do it. Yeah, you're um <laughs> I'm at a loss for words. Just say what you're saying, just perhaps, say uh, perhaps Ryan should call out to them. <laughs> okay. Okay, well whatever. I'll use my thaumaturgy. Yeah, do that. Because and, uh, uh I can use it to amplify the sound of my voice and call out and be like Ho oh, there! Uh <laughs> is anybody there! <laughs> what are you doing in my scenes? That was probably the lamest uh, choice of words you could have gone with. I'm not a sailor. Uh, so, after you say that, you notice no one, there's no response, there's no sound at all coming from that ship or the houseboat. I'm gonna swing down. Okay. 
Yeah, let's invade. Uh, roll a acrobatics check. Yeah, BB. I'm right. proficient. Uh, can I jump onto his back and cling to him as he swings? Are you afraid of water? <laughs> He's probably going to have disadvantage on that. Uh, uh, yeah, like, like, it'll be disadvantage. How big is your guy again? You're like pretty big. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's He's a big right. Cat, man. That's right. Man, no, don't do it. <laughs> Please. No, I'm doing it. You can it. just swing on the rope after. It's too late. I've done it. No, I <laughs> I'm just gonna watch them all try and go across. <laughs> Are you allowing this? Oh. Uh, <laughs> roll a strength check, and you roll a strength one to compete with it. Okay. Oh my god. Ooh, boy. I rolled a 20, dirty 20. Uh, okay. That's, that's quite a high number. <laughs> 12. Yeah, you're unable to, you're like, shake him off. Okay. <laughs> well, I guess now I'm gonna rough <laughs> Take me <laughs> with you! I don't want to swing alone! Um, so, so do I roll this disadvantage for my acrobatics? Well, this is great. I pray that I roll good. Uh, so that is 13. Please <laughs> be high. Yeah, so it's a 13. 13? Uh, Blaze, roll a strength saving throw to make sure you're able to hold on this entire time. <laughs> roll <laughs> <laughs> That one. Oh, oh no. Yeah, so, uh. Oh as, shit! <laughs> as Aileron all just starts to swing, uh, he kinda gets to the midpoint, and then at that moment, Blaze just loses his grip. And falls down straight into the water. It's about a probably like a twenty foot drop into the water. And Tony, uh, you're able to let go at the last possible second where it would still be good, and you do land on the boat. Okay. You ca- you don't land nicely though. You kind of stumble a bit. Yeah. You stumble and then fall on your face. Nice. And you stub your toe. <laughs> And it hurts this is your fault. And it hurts for three days. Three I'm consecutive days. not gonna swing onto the boat, because I weigh like 148 pounds with both my armor, <laughs> and I'm wearing a full set of armor with like a battle hammer and a shield strapped to my back, so I'm gonna wait till we get close enough to like the game like that. How far away from the boat am I now? Uh, you, you'd be about 20 feet from both ships. So you're like straight in the middle. Okay, well. First things first, I'm going to have an anxiety attack. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to start swimming towards the boat, freaking out. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm going to paddle, like doggy paddle, because I'm not really a Your proficient cat. swimmer. But uh, <laughs> it's the best I can do. I'm just a tabaxi monk. I don't do swimming. <laughs> Calm down, Blaze. It's only water. Can I guess hold for his mouth and kill him? <laughs> 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 okay, okay. Okay. So, I wouldn't do that. I never thought of that, but that's a totally... Like Good way to kill, kill an enemy. It's like that one ring that he had. Yeah, to rule them all. Oh yeah, that turns him into stone. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah, let's bring up some more of the D and D quests <laughs> in the middle of this one. Yeah. So, are you gonna? Are you trying to uh, yeah. swim towards the houseboat or back to the the boat we were trying to board? Okay. Yeah. Uh, so you're able to get the houseboat, and you're able to, like, climb some ropes that are on the side up onto the actual ship. Okay. Uh, I'll, like, grasp onto the edge of the boat, and, like, heave myself on, and, like, fall with, like, a sick plump of, like, wet fur, and then promptly throw up, <laughs> and then roll over, and be like, I hate boats! <laughs> this was stupid! <laughs> Are you guys just waiting to get closer? Yeah. I'm okay. just I'm watching from the crow's nest. Okay. Safely. Okay, so, uh, after... I was thinking about it, but I, that's gone bad in the past. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> after another couple of minutes, uh, Ali Allen has been able to get the ship close enough to the houseboat to put a plank down for everyone to walk over. Ali is gonna stay on this boat though, just to make sure that okay. it doesn't like drift off. Uh, so are the three of you going back, like, onto this houseboat? Yeah, I'm going onto the houseboat. You are, yeah. you are. <laughs> I'm quite fine where I am. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I feel safe. Okay, so, uh, since you guys are on the ship, first I'll go to you guys. Uh, so on the ship, there's this main cabin, like, that takes, uh, from about half 
way on the trip to the very back. And as well in front of that, you do see a, a kind of trap door type thing going downwards to inside the ship. What do you want to do? I'll ask. <laughs> you want to go down into this trap door? Uh, yeah, I mean, let's try to set it off and see <laughs> if we can. And again, you still don't hear any noises on the ship. I think it's abandoned. Uh, I can't hear any noises on this ship. So you're going down through the trapdoor? I think we should go down the trapdoor. <laughs> sure, yeah. Um, like, how is it set up, per se? So, like, would we, like... There would be a ladder going down. Okay, yeah. Then. I'll go first. That's the only way down? Alright. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll take the risk. I'll All go right. first. Yes. Very brave of you, Blaze. Seven adult dragons. Big <laughs> 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 on the inside. Sounds like a sick call. <laughs> told you they were yeah. sleeping. It's a boat of Seven holding. Seven dragon boat. <laughs> it's a boat of holding. Yeah. <laughs> Just endless space. Yeah, so you go down through this trapdoor and you enter what you assume what looks to be like a storeroom. So this is where they would just keep all their food that they need for their travels and anything else specifically that would help them with surviving pretty much. And again, you don't see anyone in this boat, but there's not, there's barely any dust anywhere. So it seems like this was inhabited until very recently. And there is food and everything in there? Yeah. So it looks like uh, we might just missed them. Where would the crew have gone though? You're not here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're, not, we're not that far behind you. You guys are downstairs. Don't interrupt. <laughs> I mean, um, so what, you're just talking to yourself? I'm talking to him. I'm there. Oh. Yeah. I went down after. Perhaps um, they're upstairs? All they have here is some cheese. And I'm going to take some cheese. Okay. <laughs> is there anything um, of interest? Yeah, is there anything there that's worth taking besides food? Uh, not besides really. It's mostly food, water, a bit of wine, maybe some beer, and you do also see some uh, children's toys. Um, so you said there wasn't a lot of dust, right? No, no, and, like barely any. And so, like with the the cheese that Blaze is taking, it's not like molded or anything. Like no, it's, not okay, at all. So like it's still pretty fresh. Okay. Now that you mention it, I will also take some of the wine. I okay. didn't mention that. No, he meant the DM mentioned it. I know, but he didn't mention taking it. No, I I said I'm gonna take some some of the wine yeah, right. to go with my cheese. <laughs> so by <laughs> by this time, I would have made my way down, ask him like uh what they found. Nothing. If anything. <laughs> Riveting. Look around it's not for like any hidden uh it's not compartments or like false walls type okay. stuff like that. Yeah, you don't see any false walls or anything hidden. You said this rotting. This is basically just a large oh. storeroom for anything that they might catch. So there oh there's also some fish in here too that they probably caught. <gasps> uh okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I love and fish. I'm gonna cast tech magic. Okay. I'll take Seeing that we find too. nothing, I'm gonna say, I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> I take the fish, and the wine, and the cheese, and I head back up okay. stairs, eating and drinking. <laughs> this was a great idea! <laughs> so are you doing the tech magic from, like, I'll, like downstairs, or I'll, I'll help the ship? I'll look like, like, the middle of the boat on the top, okay. and then it's, like, anything within 30 feet of me. Okay. I'm also going to leave the boat, too. I have a bad feeling about this. Uh, you do detect that there was some kind of movement magic here a while ago. Like, it isn't too fresh, so you assume it would be either something like Dimension Door or Misty Step or something like that. Something that got people on the boat really quick or off the boat really quick. Well, okay. Um, the probably... Whoever has this boat probably just keeps it in the water, and then if they can use the shore, they can just travel back and forth from it wherever they want. This is also pretty far off mainland. Okay. <clears throat> How, does the mention have like a travel distance limit? I think 500, 500 feet. So they got the mention door into the middle of the ocean, and they're dead now. <laughs> well, um, then I'm just gonna search the, like, the top of the ship, see if I can find anything here. Okay, there is a door to, like, the cabin. So are you going into the cabin? Sure. Okay. I'll join them. I got nothing else to do. Okay, so in the cabin there are a few doors. Uh, as you investigate, you find one would be like the main parents' room. If, 
because there are probably parents there. And then there's a child's room, mm. there's a kitchen, and kind of, kind of a relaxing area. And, yeah. Are you, go, uh, which rooms are you specifically looking at right now? Well, I, I'll just check them all in sequential order. Okay. Just go along and open the door okay. to see what I can find. <clears throat> uh, as you go into the parents' room, you do notice that there is, there are a couple of broken glasses on the floor, or broken, uh, a broken plate and a broken gas, and mm. it's kind of a mess as if someone left them in a hurry or were forced to leave them in a hurry or something like that. Um, you do find some ju- jewelry in like the drawers and a bit of money, uh, a couple of knives, and just lots of codes too. Okay, well, I'm not going to take anything because I'm not a thief. Biting into the cheese, I'd be like, mm, this is getting suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what happened. <clears throat> Are any of you guys investigating the cabin too? Yeah, I mean, uh, after exploring the last area, there was really not much going on, so. I love the boat. I feel like this whole thing is a bad omen. Okay. (laughs) Oh, and you all, uh, in that parents room, you also do find a couple of pictures of, uh, family. So it's a family of gnomes. Uh, one is, well, I, I can't really describe it. Uh, it's just a regular gnome family. Okay. Like nothing really special about it. Um, hmm. Well, I don't really know what's going on here. And, like, I don't detect any other magic in this room. No. Okay. okay. Uh, so next is the, is the child's room. So there's, like, a bed. There's the kids' kids' clothes. There's no kid in sight. Uh, you do find a diary hmm. on the desk, though. Okay, well, I'll read the diary. Okay. <laughs> Oh, Snoop! <laughs> figure out what happened, man. So, the first page says, uh, well, you can, you can recognize that this is a pretty young kid's diary. Uh, the first page says, today was my seventh name day and mother bought me this diary to write in. She's been teaching me since I was five years old. I'm so excited to have my own book to write in. We also went to Sandy's today. It was fun and she made cookies for me. Then the second page. <laughs> Mommy said that Andy was sending a letter for my birthday, but it hasn't come yet. Daddy says that he'll, it'll come tomorrow, but he looks worried. I'm gonna have more cookies now. Third page. The letter hasn't come yet. Mommy says that it'll be here tomorrow. I saw her send a raven to Silsby. I wonder what it, or to Summer Sale. I wonder what it's about. I asked her, but she didn't tell me. I heard her and Daddy whispering about something in Summer Sale. Maybe we'll go there soon. Fourth page. Daddy went to talk to some friends nearby. He said he'd be back by now, but he isn't. It made me sad, but I'll see him in the morning, Mommy says. Uh, Mommy was also looking out the window. She looks worried. Fifth page. Daddy hasn't come back. Mom is crying. She told me to stay in the cellar. She came too. I wonder what... And the dance there. Holy shit. <laughs> um, um, I've come to the conclusion <laughs> that they are all dead. <laughs> Something Therefore, like I'm taking all the cheese. It was spooky. <laughs> this is right messed up. That was real spooky. And you guys did notice in the cellar or store room that nothing really was taken. Which tells me uh, they didn't pack up and go for a little trip. They're not uh, a fan of cheddar. <laughs> well, I guess that... Bad taste, man. I guess that should have been found in the cellar. Oh, the room? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Retconned. Uh... <laughs> Recon. It appears um, this family uh, had some bad business, but uh, is it really our problem? We, we have no clues of where they went. Uh, we have no idea who they were. Uh, let's just forget about it. This was a kid. He was in danger. Do you know where the kid is? No. You don't know where the kid is. Do you know where to look? No, you don't know. Well, what are we supposed to do? There's another room to search, so let's search that room. Uh, yeah, I think we should look. You're gonna find something you don't want to see. <laughs> and I think we should try to help this family out if we can. What family? They're gone. Looks like the DM killed another kid. <laughs> <laughs> Back at it again. <laughs> Sick fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so the next room would be the dining room, uh, or dining room slash kitchen. Again, not nothing really looks out of place in this room. Uh, just a regular table. There's some counters. Uh, some counters. There's knives and forks, cutlery, all that kind of stuff. There's just no food on the table. Like nothing was put on the table recently. Uh, sorry. Did that um. 
diary say what date the last entry was on? It was the uh, fifth day. What date did it say? Well, this is just the fifth day that she wrote. Oh, uh, so she didn't. Oh, so it didn't but in day. the diary, it did say uh, it just it stopped writing. Like yeah, like she was interrupted, and yeah. we just knew that like this has been recently used. So yeah, I'm assuming the fifth yeah. day is actually today, or yesterday, or, yesterday. or tomorrow. Tomorrow, uh, you, you could investigate the diary to see how long the ink could, could be from. Okay, yeah, I'll do ink, the... how long the ink's been dry for, or whatever. Thank you, Jack. Investigate. Okay, eighteen. That's pretty good. Uh, you believe that it's been probably a day or two. Well, what should we do, guys? There's nothing we can do. We could further investigate when we make it to Summersdale. She mentioned it mm. several times in her diary. Uh, but right now, there's nothing we can do. Can you trace magic? Tra- teleportation magic? No, thank you, Mr. Tactical. That doesn't sound like Ryan to me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I keep forgetting. <clears throat> but, uh, d- it didn't say any names in the diary, did it? No, but I I guess after exploring the other rooms, you would have found out that the father's name was, uh, Igor, and the mother's name was Mary. And the kid's name would have been, uh, Nelby. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, and that's it for the boat. There's no other room yeah. to search. Uh, there was the like living room, but nothing out of place okay. is there either. Well, I guess all we can do is go to Summersdale. Maybe we can track down what happened to uh the family, because I did mention that uh father about today. We should yeah. take their food. That is theft, and we should not. I'm pretty sure they're all dead. <laughs> uh, and provisions are important. Do you want the? Do you want all the food to go bad? Waste not what not. Uh, right, well, it's just wrong to take it, and it's not like we need to pay for our own supplies since we're sponsored by the king of uh, vultures. For this boat ride, he's not going to give us a bunch of free food. We're going to be in the, the whole reason we're going to the city is for his quest, so he better be paying for everything. Fair enough, I'm still taking the wine, though. <laughs> well, I can't stop. I'll put all the wine in my bag of holding. <laughs> all right. Uh, so you're leaving the ship? Yeah, um, did you take the diary? Yeah, I'll hang up the diary. Okay. Um, there's nothing else down there's... there worth interest? No, not really. Okay. Should we keep the kids' toys? In case you come across a kid, they might recognize their toys. toys. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So if you bring kids' toys back onto the boat, I'm going to burn them. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I'm, I'm very superstitious. <laughs> uh, I want to see this happen. Uh... <laughs> oh, wow. Well... The, when we, the, the child might remember it. They, they might recognize it and we could um, discern their identity. Then if you want something to go up in flames, just paint another picture. <laughs> 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 I leave the toys. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> uh, so are you guys letting Allie know about that there was no one on the ship? Yeah, I'll give her the rundown. Yeah. Okay. The Ryan down. So then she'll... <laughs> 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 then uh, she'll just tell one of you to, like, just keep the stream wheel, like, how it is right now, and then mm-hmm. she'll board the ship and just, uh, put the anchor down all the way to make sure that it doesn't drift off. And then she'll go back onto the ship and start sailing. And are you telling anyone about, like, what you saw, like, any names or the pictures you saw? I would have, like, I'm polar, but <clears throat> oh, good. I have an even worse feeling about this. <laughs> uh, so... When you tell Baron, Baron, you actually recognize the name of the father. It's the same gnome who picked you up when you first uh, got to the section of Caldania. Oh, oh boy. Oh, oh. Too bad he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to kind of wallow in that for a while. In my crow's nest. <laughs> um, are you sure? Are you sure it was. You got the name right of the father? I am 100% positive. Run that by me again. You go on. Right, okay, just <laughs> making sure. Did you know it? Have some significance to you. Yes. <laughs> okay. Why don't you come down from the eagle's nest like he's, he's just shouting with that one? Igor! There was a gnome named Igor! Are you sure? Yes! Is that important to you? Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'll calm down. <laughs> cool. but did you know this evil lad well? Um, yeah, when I, uh, 
then my whole situation sort of started. He he gave me a little uh, guidance to uh, help me out, uh, some clothes and a little bit of advice. Nice guy. Too bad he's dead. Wow. <laughs> okay. um, what situation? If you don't mind me asking. Yeah, and, uh, right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> You're getting real suspicious here. <laughs> it's just something I'd, uh, I'd rather not talk about now. That's that's for a later time, I think. I would respect that. So. Yeah. These are terrible tidings. I think we should quit while we're ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Go back to Rogers. Yeah, we quit. <laughs> Never going to Summersdale. <laughs> Don't be a sissy. Um, <laughs> even though I think... Uh, Baron is kind of um, sketch. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 no, he's not being sketchy. He's just no, like, like not right, with No, him. no, I'm not saying right now. I'm saying my character overall oh, thinks Farron is kind of sketch. Um, I respect that. Like, uh, you don't want to tell us exactly, but I, I like say, I say, we shall continue on with our sailing. I'm going to uh, head back up in the crow's nest. And cool. Spend some alone time with my thoughts. Uh, Can I, I join I you? Will give you the <laughs> Baron. You know, I. Yes. We're talking. Wait your turn. I, <laughs> this is so much. Dan. <laughs> it's me, Ryan. <laughs> I want to talk. I want to talk to you. Yes, yes, Ryan. Um, I, I, I'll just hand you the diary. Baron, 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 here's a book. Read this. Imagine if you stand in the eagle says like, here, <laughs> throw it up to him. Yeah, I was like, this belongs to his daughter. Michael can read it. Thank you. I, I will have a look at it. Um, Don't burn it. I will try not to. I'm going to climb back up to the crow's nest and okay. put the book in my satchel. Is there anything else that anyone wants to do specifically right now? No. I'm going to sit in a chair and... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not done! Okay, I'm going to just sit down. Is there a comfy chair? <laughs> oh, I need a minute! <laughs> I'm going to bring out my divination card that I have as my trinket and just kind of look at it and reminisce over my life and what brought me to this point? <laughs> okay. I imagined while the whole scene was going down with Farron, like that song that plays at the end of Fast 7, like just playing in the background. <laughs> it's been a long time <laughs> without you, my friend. Yeah. I don't know why. I hear all about it when I see you, you again. again. Yeah, classic. Uh, yeah, there's nothing else I want to do. Okay. So that is it for this episode of Now 20. Uh, Come by next time to see what happens next. See more dead kids. Uh, see you next time on Nat 20. <laughs>